Hi hey guys, welcome back to SimUK and of course PC Building Simulator. Let's get the light on and then we'll have a look at what we've got arriving, or just arrived. So we've got a Diagnosis PC, PC can boot to the operating system, diagnose and fix, uh, and then run 3D Mark. We've got a whole bunch of stuff, I'm worried, I'm worried as to what we've ordered here. Uh, upgrade to 4GB of RAM and then run 3D Mark. Let's get this one in then, because that's nice and easy. Let's open this up. I'm assuming this is 2 gig. Yes, it is. Take that out. And we'll drop in. Well, actually, we got two value RAM sticks. I'm quite happy to go with that, actually. Because I know the game will accept that, so uh, that's fine by me. So we have to run 3D Mark on here, so we're going to need the USB drive. And uh, we'll just install that real quick. This will be where it fails, of course, won't it? This will be where it fails and we'll find that there's a whole bunch of extra stuff we've got to do in order to uh, complete the job. It shouldn't be though, it should, be, <laughs> it should just be straightforward. Um, replace the PSU, right. So we should have a PSU in one of these boxes. Ah, oh, interesting. Two boxes, one item. So, I was mistaken. I was thinking that there would be one box for each item. It turns out that that is not the case. Okay, let's get the power cables connected. And then, uh, that is this job done. It's a good start to the day. I did want to test something, actually. Um, let's just uh, let's finish this one off, and then I'll do it. Okay, so we'll boot you up. Let's go check how we're doing over here. I'm very nearly completed. That's all done. Excellent. Good start to the day. My goodness me, how often do we get it that right that quickly? Not very often. Right, how are we doing here? Oh, is it finished? Yes, it's finished. Okay, good. So, let's remove that. Oops. Ah. No restart options still, which is quite annoying. Um, okay, let's do this properly. Let's take this back out. And that job is done. So that's two jobs completed in three minutes. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's get the purple Merple in. Whoops. Might help if I click the right buttons. Uh, diagnose and fix run 3D mark. So with I'm thinking this is the one without the CPU paste. Probably find out that's not the case, but uh, let's, let's see. Install the cable, power it on, stick the USB in there, ah, oh, more doctors. You, do you see what I mean by this guy here? Looks like a doctor, looks like a doctor, looks like a doctor, looks like an actor. <laughs> I don't know, it's just me, don't know, what that, I don't know why I think that way. Uh, 3D Mark. Restart and run. Looks like that's fixed. Diagnose and fix has been uh, has been greened out, so it looks pretty promising. Let's go collect money for that one. Collect the money for that one. Discard that email. Yep, we've done that one. <laughs> I don't like this email system, it confuses me. I'm always constantly worried I'm going to delete the wrong email. Okay, that hasn't quite finished yet. Uh, bits and PCs, we've just added the following parts to our range. NZXT S340 Elite Hyper Beast. Elite Hyper Beast. Yes, indeed. Uh, what's this one? 
I hear you work with computers, I'm looking for, up for some upgrades to my PC. I'm pretty hardcore gamer, lol, so I need it to benchmark at least 3166. So 13 days, 270 quid. Right, I'm going to take this job because I want to run a test. There's no way I can turn whatever crappy PC he's got into a 3166 running PC for $270, no chance. So I'm going to take that and then I'm going to do something weird. Good day. I haven't upgraded for a while, so it's about time. I'd appreciate it if you could replace the CPU with something better. It would be good if you could benchmark it afterwards, please. Yeah, we'll actually take that. Because we got a few CPUs, hopefully one that will suit your needs. So, terrible CPU score there. Uh, 870 I think whoa whoa what am I doing completely meant to click that don't know how I ended up clicking this uh, yeah we'll just uninstall it straight away what the mistake of the maker right they're gone whoops need a restart button down here I really do right we'll power you back on just so that we're 100% sure we uninstalled all those parts. We'll whack the case back on. And everything looks absolutely fine. Excellent. Well, how long have we been into this game? Seven minutes and we've got all three jobs done. If only every day ran so smoothly. Let's, um, we, in fact, we're going to get two days worth of video. Uh, two days of gameplay into to this day. If I... If I ever finish my sentence and click on collect. Discard. What's this one? Congratulations, you have reached level 6. You've unlocked the Arctic CPU callers. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 GPUs. Quick cable tool. These components are available in the shop right now. Arctic Freezer 33TR. Arctic Freezer blah 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 blah. Lots of different colours. MSI GeForce GTX 1060 Gaming VR X3G. And a quick cable tool. Cool. The next milestone, level 7 unlocks, Cooler Master Maker, 5T case, the Arctic Bionex case fans, and the Ryzen 6 and 8 core CPUs. It's getting a bit serious now, isn't it? Right, what's this? Ooh, I need a new PC for the local train enthusiast club. It doesn't need to be fancy, could, but could do with a reasonable amount of RAM and storage for the weekly slideshows. They can get rather long. Ha ha ha. Many thanks, Rob. 900, we're definitely taking that. 500 gig of storage, 16 gig of RAM, spend less than $750. Absolutely. This job requires you to build an entire PC from scratch. You will need to buy all the parts and an empty case from the shop. How exciting. So maybe we won't get two days in this. I think I'm going to spend a bit of time sorting this out. Okay then. So, obviously, if you're looking for cost-effective PC building, you have to go down the route of um, AMD over Intel. And seeing as they're not looking for anything specifically powerful, I think we can do that quite easily. So let's go to the shop. Let's have a look at the cases. What have we got here? Let's go ascending. This is not going to be, can I build the best PC ever? This is going to be, let's make a nice, fat, chunky profit whilst making sure that they get good quality PC at the end of the day, of course. So um, immediately I can see 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. And then it just gets expensive from there in. We don't need an expensive case. I think I'm really drawn to this one. The NZXT S340 white and purple. So it supports mini ATX, micro ATX and super ATX. So max PSU length 180 millimeters, max GPU length 364 millimeters. Oh, this actually caters for a bigger GPU. I'm going to go with this one, I think. Because I, I, we're not building anything out of this world, so I think we'll be okay there. I mean, does it even say it needs a graphics card? 
It doesn't. Do any of these motherboards have onboard graphics? That's a good question, isn't it? So we got a Super ATX, multi-GPU, not available. We don't need multi-GPU. That does a crossfire, $100. 1151 Skylake. Okay, so that, I mean, that means we won't be going down the AMD route. <sighs> hmm. Let's have a look at the price. Intel Celeron. So I can pick up an Intel Celeron, KB Lake, or no, it better still. An Intel Celeron G3900, um, 11.51 Skylake for 45 quid. So, I mean, that's so cheap anyway. So cheap anyway. Uh, okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to do the Mortoni Z717. We're going to pick up the... Intel Celeron G3 900. They don't want anything. I would never, ever, ever recommend anyone buy anything with the word Celeron in it, ever. But they don't want anything good. So that's what they're going to get. <laughs> Cheapest card. One of these two. Gigabyte GeForce GT 1030 overclocked to 2G. That's also 2G. They're almost identical, aren't they? 168mm, 169mm. Now, what was the limit there? Let's just double check. 180. Oh, no. Uh, th 364. Yeah, we, we're absolutely covered. Absolutely covered. I'm sure later on we're going to have to pay more attention to this kind of stuff, but not now. Um, NVIDIA GeForce GT 1030SC. Let's go for the overclocked version. Why not? Why not, indeed? Uh, storage, they said they want at least 500 gig. Mortoni, easy store, 500 gig, 50 quid. Barracuda, Seagate, 500, 500 quid, 50 quid. Um, yeah, we'll go with the branded name. Memory, we've already got. I'm not worried about that. Um, power surprise, 250, 350. Uh, let's just, I mean... We're going to make so much money off this anyway. Let's give them a 650. Silverstone ET650B. I think that'll do nicely. 140 mil. I'm pretty sure that's within our range. Yeah, easily. Cooling. Multoni Thermal 100. Doesn't the... The CPU come with its own um, heatsink? I'd have thought it would. Okay, I'm a, I'm a little bit put off by that one. For twice the money... Let's go for this one. Uh, Cryorig M9i. It's the LGA 1151 socket. It's 125mm. Let's just double, 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 double check that. 161, so we're good. Um, yeah, where has it gone? 20 quid. $20. That's $460. So we're going to make a decent profit out of that. Now, what have I forgotten? Graphics card, check. CPU, check. Motherboard, check. Memory, already got it. Storage, check. Power supply, check. Case, check. Cooling, check. Tools. That's for us. We're going to do some buying. I think. Okay, well, uh, that took a little while to get all that together. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to make a nice profit on that one for a change. Makes a nice change, actually. Let's just check these other jobs here. What have we got? Upgrade the CPU. Now we don't know what CPU he's got, but I'm hoping we've already got one that will suit his needs. Um, in fact, have we already got a CPU? Because that could save us. Well. Uh, to be fair, I mean, that's 45 quid, isn't it? $45, I should say. Why can't I look at my inventory? <clears throat> For a build job, a yellow label is placed on the whiteboard in the office. Pick up the yellow label and attach it to a workbench, then build a PC on that workbench to complete the job. Ooh. Oh, 
Well, that's interesting. That's jolly interesting. So, I was thinking about getting an extra desk, but the reality of it is... Oh, I need to be level 8 anyway. Oh, it's this I can get. The PC storage cupboard. <clears throat> now, I've heard from you guys that all you can store in here is completed PCs, and that just seems totally pointless. What I'd rather have is something that's going to make us a bit of money. So if I look at tools, I've heard PC Bay is pretty crappy as well, and the the equipment that's on there isn't very good, and it's uh, badly priced. Quick screw tool, auto connect, we've already got. Got, got, got. Get used parts at reduced prices. Well, there really is nothing else worth looking at. So, I mean, there's only that that we can get. But um, because we've got to buy all the parts, I don't think we're going to bother. We're going to do a test as well with this guy. Uh, not this guy, this guy. No, this guy. Yes. He wants an, a ridiculously high 3D mark score for $270. It's never going to happen, so I'm going to do a test with that guy. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found it slightly interesting. And um, if you've spotted a mistake that I've made regarding the PC build that I'm going to do tomorrow, don't tell me today, just tell me tomorrow. Say, I knew you'd buggered that up. Ha ha ha, you're a prune. And then we can all have a good laugh at my expense. So, until then, take good care of yourselves. Okay, okay, see? Now you're all about to go, oh, I can't wait to type that in. I did actually forget to order the stuff. <laughs> Very nearly. So, we will buy now. Close that, close that. In fact, let's close that for a change. Shut the light off. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Take care. Till next time. Goodbye.